Ghost Net. It's one of the new features, actually, which is kind of good because yeah. I, w- I kept on yeah. looking at the tag as well. Yeah, we were going to mention something about the uh, the new Identica. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, myself and I, uh, sorry, <laughs> myself and team were, were talking about the... Uh, yeah, the previous the, episode. Uh, yes, yes, the previous one, which we released like, last night, uh, actually less than a day ago. Um, we uh, we were talking about what's what's uh, what's new in 1.0. Uh, team, I know it doesn't use it as much as it used to. I, I don't think it's, that. Uh, yes, yes, Identica. Uh, I don't know if you say identity dot cast slash Seb 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 for anyone who wants to follow me, and that's also my name on Freenode. Right, anyway, so Identica, yeah, I it it was down over the weekend. Uh, whilst they were upgrading, it was sort of like down from, I'm not sure exactly when it was like, Friday, I think just like Friday over to, sort of Friday to Monday or something like that. I think it only went down on Saturday. It was yeah, supposed Saturday to be back to by Monday. Monday, but they had some issues there. Yeah. Back, but, but they didn't lose any data as far as no, that. No, no, they didn't lose anything. And it's, it's got a completely new interface. The interface is, is all, it's, it's more like, um, a bit more like Facebook. When you follow a timeline, it's more like Facebook. You can yeah. see people's comments there instead of going to the contact link. You got you can subscribe to tags like I already said. You can um, subscribe. To, you can start polls. And I, I, I obviously yeah. a few people start. Probably we'll mention it after the next song. But well, just just before we uh, move into oh. specific polls, we probably should mention the new features there. I mean, you you're you're one of the uh, people who I follow and. On Identica, and I know both of us were trying to do some. No, I don't know you. Yeah, 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 and uh, and I think both of us are kind of uh, mostly focusing on that side as opposed to Twitter. Uh, yeah. We're trying to uh, nurture the uh, community there, of false, false people, and not just. The well, yeah, I'm. Well, I'm. I'm in the Twitter free group on Identica as well. For people who don't have Twitter, but I kind of got a bit of an exception <laughs> when I joined that group. I was going to join it, and I said to the guy, "Like, yeah, but I, I don't really use Twitter, but I, I, I do have an account. It's just um, I only really did four tweets just to, for myself, really, and just sort of say, so, so I said I've sent tweets before, and I didn't really have the name I wanted because somebody else had Seb 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 on on Twitter and they had they had it for a long time and I knew that anyway before I even wanted to use these kind of sites so I didn't really care and then obviously when I wanted to uh, start, when I started using Identity I'm thinking like maybe I should use Twitter as well I started thinking like oh but that means I can't have that name and I signed up with like uh Seb 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 and I'm thinking like this is a really stupid name to have on, on Twitter I'm not going to give him I think it was not- registered very shortly after we discussed this in IRC Oh, that that was that, that was the Identica name, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a story oh. as well. All right. So that 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 was brought back to you. Um. Kind yeah. Of. I I for quite a long time I knew Identica was there and all that because I mean I go to the um, Tech Rights Guys channel, but it always be by channel before obviously, but yeah. and yeah, boys channels, and uh, I I had um. And I had one night he was well, was really trying to get me to sign up on Identica, and I was like, no, I don't want to sign up. I don't want to sign up. I don't, I don't really want. I don't really want to sign up. And he's like, oh, you should sign up. It, it doesn't take very long. And because boys' channels get publicly logged as well, and sometimes uh, we get trolls who read the channel logs and then possibly quote people from the channel on the on, the, uh, on their like places where they troll or but anyway what happened with me is somebody actually decided that they would sign up as me on Identica and so they took they got my name they signed up with Seb 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 and it, and I basically knew straight away that it had been somebody who'd read the log because it said boy on the like name thing as well yeah. so it must be like saying they must be insane to us like oh, it, was, it was a troll we signed up as you and um so I, I was not very happy about that and I so I emailed status.net about this and I linked to the log and um, somebody found me in the channel later on from Identical status statusnet and they basically sort of said like we don't normally sort out we don't normally do these like name problems and sort them out kind of thing but because this person had signed up with a fake email address we we, uh, you're able, and we couldn't contact them. Where we're, we're able, you're able to have the name. So they just, I basically said, uh, 
So I had the old name with their join date. And I'm like, no, I, I want, I want shown with my join date. So I deleted the account and I got my, uh, yeah. uh, uh and, I was, and it was, I wasn't really supposed to, and they sort of said, I wasn't, maybe I wasn't really supposed to, they sort of said, don't tell people or whatever. Yeah, it, it wasn't the only time. <laughs> I guess I just did hear that. Yeah. What? Well, you, you shouldn't, uh, be so, it wasn't the only time this happened. A uh, person, uh, took, I'm not sure which one, I think it's the tech rights, uh, username or something, one of the, the, the username to do with that. Uh, and it was registered, uh, like supposedly under my name. They even used my full name, uh, and used the channel thing in a malicious way. Uh, and then I just contacted the identity. They knew it was a faker. They knew it was somebody just trying to... Yeah, yeah, on, as and, as and then they, uh, they, they basically passed ownership of the account to me because they knew it was just a troll looking for trouble. Yeah, that, that, uh, and they, on so, against her, they had the... Remember that fake metal Shuttleworth account and that fake... Oh, is this account? removed as well? I think they're still there. But oh, I think if it's, if it's very clearly satirical, then I suppose they should... And jo- John o. Bacon signed up to the fake John o. Bacon account. Well, John o. Yeah. yeah, I suppose it's not too bad for him as long as it's not very uh, what's the word? Uh, very um, uh, you know, as long as you use safe language in some ways, as long as it doesn't get any vulgar or something, or trying to really pretend to be him. So you know, if he says a very funny sentences, and they, they do have these accounts also in Twitter where it's very obvious that it's a joke, and like every tweet would be a joke, and then people would know, okay, this is that it's supposed to be a comical account. And this is also a place where, just like in copyright law, uh, you have some protection of rights. If you use satire to emphasize the fact this is not true, uh, then they claim, well, this is humor. We're not going to send your humor. It will be just humor. So it is not just exactly trolling. Um, but one of the things that they pass ownership to the account. And they had that. Mm-hmm. I mean, Twitter is not as responsive, but Twitter is, I think, terminated about five accounts of people who were impersonating me and and stuff like they would create accounts and say like, you know, pretend to be gay or something, like try to ascribe yeah. to certain behavior, you know, things like that. And, and and Twitter would see it straight away, just terminate their account and just know it's a troll. Uh, so, so they were more kind of open to the... Uh, um, uh, to the yeah, Dan, Dan's cares is is good. I mean, you can... You, you can, can speak to the administrator and... Then yeah, yeah, you can, you can contact at support. And get you for support, but you can contact the the guy who founded the Denticon. He was obviously when it and when it came back after the upgrades, he was very active. And I I did I did message him, then him with like a few times, but he, he didn't met, reply. But he did to other people. And but yeah, you can like contact the founder. Yeah, I, I think they do try to calm people down because they have to restore some it. features and they fix some bugs. And I I was being very patient and forthcoming. Yeah, and I mean earlier today at around nine or ten o'clock in the morning, they fixed the. Uh, Connections even between the not, not really fixed, they restored the certain functionality which throughout the upgrade was inactive. So, so yeah, everything is going back to normal as far as I can and, tell. Uh, it, so yeah, the polls, the tags, uh, the new design, which is I I do, I do prefer the old design really, but I do like I the did new as well features. in some ways, but yeah, I like the new features. And then you can subscribe to tags, and you can there's an invite feature. Uh, events like Facebook and sort of question feature as well. And anyway, so when it came up, when it came back up on the Monday evening, I, I uh, yeah, four days ago, um, this has it. All right, Monday evening, I started, obviously a few people started the polls about the new design and that kind of thing. And I thought, yeah, I want to, I want to try this poll feature out. And so I'm going to start a poll about the design. So I started the poll and, uh, no one's, no one's, uh, Voting in it anymore because it's too old now. I guess maybe if I like mention it to the identical group again or something, maybe people will start voting again. But probably not so much. I mean, it's four days old now, or whatever. But I started the poll. Poll. Do you prefer the old design of identity dot cat? And then I've got so the, and I've got five, I only get five answers. So I'm going to do the answer and then the number of votes and then say something afterwards. Right. So no, fifty-two. Yes, 37. I don't really care that much. I mainly use a client anyway. 11. Yes, since this one is a bit too Facebook like for my liking. 14. 30 old but like the new features such as polls. 34. And that's my poll votes. And, uh, you can, and what you can actually do on Identica, which I like as well, is how you can actually see what other people get. So if you want, if anyone wants to like, for example, see 
who like voted in my poll and for what exactly you can go and you can go identity.cast slash seb 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 slash replies and then you can see these people and where they voted to vote for and there was